Hi, Tube. Welcome to my channel, Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time. I'm Janelle, and my welcome to my Tube channel about cross-stitch and yarn and all the things that have her, that are happening in my life and greatness and fun. Oh my gosh, I have got so much for you today. Um, I went to a retreat this last weekend, so I have so much stuff. I've been sitting here um, watching, so I, I'm unpacking everything in my room and trying to organize it out. Here's a picture of that. So we're going to be here for a bit, and I'm going to have to take a little pause in the middle because I can't even get to the pile of stuff that's over there that was delivered while I was gone. I haven't even opened those. I haven't even looked at the tags to see who they're from yet, so oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, I just have to say, first of all, I had a wonderful retreat. Oh my gosh. We went to, I went to Missouri. So, okay, let me back up just for one minute. One minute. Let's see. I went down, I filmed my floss tube last Tuesday. Okay, I did that. I got all my stuff done that I needed to get done before I did that. And I drove down Wednesday. So everything in my life this week has been retreat. <sighs> oh my goodness. Are you guys ready for this? I'm so ready. Um, okay, let's just start. Um, and I actually wrote a few things on my planner here to keep things going. Um, so if you see me glancing over here, it's me looking at my planner trying to figure out, okay, is there anything else I need to talk about here? So, yes. Um, okay. I think Jinx is, Jinx, I have to make a path for Jinx because she's trying to come over and say hello. Come here. You can come here. She's trying to come over. She's looking at me like, I missed you. I missed you, mama. I want to be right next to you. Say hi, Jinxie Belle. She needs a haircut so bad. She was supposed to have a haircut yesterday, but I was driving back from Missouri, so I couldn't get her to her appointment, right? No, we couldn't do that. So we now have a hair appointment on Thursday. So she gets to go to Little Susie's on Thursday. Do you want to go to Little Susie's? I don't think she cares either way. I don't think she can even hear me talking. I think she's just happy that I'm home. I don't know. Are you happy I'm home? Hey, I'm talking to you. She's like, but I'm on camera. I have to look at the camera. You've taught me to look at the camera, right? Are you looking at the camera saying, hello, everybody? Say hello, everybody. Hi. She's looking around at all my stuff too, going, oh my goodness. Are you good now? Everybody good? You wanna go play with your babies? Is you going to go play with the babies? You can go play with the babies. Or you can just lay down right there. That's fine. I just have to move my stuff out. You can lay right there. That's fine. Yes, I know you need to be like within like inches of me. Trust me. Inches. Yes. Inches, inches, inches. Um, okay, so I've got... I'm like, I'm trying to move some of the needle minders out of the way so that she can, oops. All right, we're just gonna let those things roll with the punches as they happen and we'll come to them as we need. Okay, there, there's a spot for you right there. Right there. Is that good? Is that a good spot? Here, should I move it more? Do you want more stuff out of the way? Cause wherever I put stuff, you're gonna lay on it anyways, right? Is that what's going to happen? Is that a good spot? Yes, it's a good spot. Okay. All right. Back to floss tube. It was a good spot. Look. Let me clear it out for a minute. Oh. She's happy now. Okay. She's not looking at me. She's guarding. She's guarding everything. She's making sure nobody attacks. <sighs> Okay, 
Okay, that was, it's been five minutes now. I've rambled. I've rambled enough and we are, we are going to go with it. Put that up there. Okay. So, oh, all right, here we go. Um, so driving, I drove down to Missouri by myself, by myself. I went to a new state driving by myself. If anybody knows me well enough to know, I don't like driving. I don't, I, I don't mind driving if there's no cars around me. <laughs> um, I don't like driving in rush hour traffic. Um, I don't like driving in new places because I don't know where I'm where I'm at and I'm not familiar with the surroundings. I don't like driving in places I'm familiar with when there's lots of traffic. I've been in quite a few car accidents, so um, rear-ended quite a few times, and I just don't trust people anymore. <laughs> so I, yeah, so this is huge for me. This is big. Um, so I made it to Missouri by myself and back by myself and it was good. There were only two parts that I got a little nervous on. Um, Des Moines area got a little busy. Um, and then down when I was arriving in the Kansas city area, um, the retreat we went to was in independence. Um, it was camp black needles. Camp Black Needle Society, um, 2022 BNS retreat. So this is what we went to. So this, they're, so they're from Missouri down there. So um, the hotel we stayed at was Stony Creek Inn, and the hotel was beautiful. It was extremely beautiful. There were some warm patches in there because the air conditioning wasn't working so well. And, um, some seating areas weren't, could have, you know, been a little more friendlier and stuff like that, but that's okay. It happens. Um, but so it was, uh, you know, it was overall, it was an amazing retreat. It was great. I got to see my stitchy friends in person. Like they have real skin. It's not just cardboard figures like on zoom chats and um, Facebook chats and things like that. And we all have legs. It was amazing. Cause as you know, you're doing floss tube and you're doing the chats and things like that. You don't see people. You see them from like waist up or not even that all the time. Um, so it was, it was quite fun to meet everybody in person and it was so great. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, so I got there. So first of all, driving down. I made a pit stop. Um, I made a pit stop to Osage, Iowa, because I've heard about um, Stitchery Nook from other stitchers. And I can't remember all their names, um, but that I've heard it, about it from, but I, I was, I, I had to go in there. I had to go check it out. And I knew it wasn't going to be small. So when I walked in, I was like, whoa. And I'm sorry, I don't, I just, uh, just going to tell you guys right now, I was not real good at taking pictures. I was living in the moment. My phone, well, I kept my phone away from me most of the, I tried to keep my phone away from me most of the weekend. Um, I just didn't need extra phone things happening. So I just wanted, I was trying to live in the moment, be at my retreat and enjoy myself and be there. So I do apologize right now on the lack of pictures, but I will tell you, I did, I watched, uh, Lynn X stitches. Um, she was my roommate this weekend and I watched her floss tube cause she put it up yesterday and she did amazing. She's got pictures of the break table, the Morris table, all kinds of things. And she, you really have to go back because she did an amazing recap. So you have to look at Lynn X stitches. Um, that's her floss tube channel, the next stitches, and I'll put it right in here for you. Um, so yeah, you have to do that. So I did not do real good with the pictures and stuff like that, but I have things to show you. <laughs> I have real life in person things. So 
let's start with On the Way Down. Okay, so On the Way Down. Crinkles for Uno Momento. Okay. Stitchery Nook. It was an awesome shop. I walked in and I knew it was going to be big. Um, I was warned that I should plan for two hours. I did make it through in an hour and a half. I could have spent more time there, but I've, I, I had dinner, a dinner date. Um, please don't sit on the magnets. Okay. All right. Just lay down right there. Careful where your butt is, please. please. She's making her spot and I'm just trying to save my spot. <laughs> now she's looking at me like, what are you doing? She doesn't know. Can you hear it? It's weird. She hears me when I whisper, but she doesn't hear me when I talk loud. She just ignores me. She's still making her spot. It's not good enough yet. This is going to be a long video. I wish she would just lay down. <laughs> and she's done. Okay, we're back. We're back in action. Okay. So. Athena warned me that I needed two hours to plan to go in there. I did make it in an hour and a half. I probably could have looked around a lot more, but I did not even look at the scrapbook section. There, like so, about a third of the store or so is scrapbooking and paper crafting supplies. So I didn't even look at any of that. I looked at the other two thirds of the store, and I'll have to say, I did pretty well. Yes, I did. So. All right, let's see what we've got here. Okay, I, one thing I have to say, their customer service was phenomenal. They were so, so nice. Um, I got through the first couple um, <sighs> aisles. <laughs> Words are hard. I got through the first couple aisles and then as I got to the other side of the store, I asked where the DMC was because I had a list of some DMC on projects I was bringing with, so I wasn't sure if I was going to start them or not. So I had my list of DMC, and she, the the daughter comes up and she's like, "Do you do you want me to pull those for you while you continue shopping?" I'm like, "Yes, please." So I had to get some flosses. So I had to get some flosses for Electra, my fancy lady, and then also for. Um, haunted library, uh, sale that's starting up soon. So yeah, so I got those. The, the daughter also makes, uh, these scissor fobs and they're called cat crafts is what she's got them named. Um, so look at these guys. Look at this one. You see that? Look at that little bird down at the bottom and the little flower. That one is so pretty. I love it. I had to get that. It was a must. Um, so let me go ahead and put this back into here. Trying to keep things a little bit organized because I do have to put everything away today. Um, this one, I this is a waxing moon design that I found called Watch It Snow. And they did have the model there, and I absolutely love it. And I think this would make some awesome smalls. Like, chopping this up in different parts, I think it's going to make some really cool smalls. So, I'm excited for that. Um, I think I was into all, a waxing moon, because every time I asked about something, they're like, Oh, that's waxing moon. Oh, that's waxing moon. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Um, this one, they also had a model stitched up and I saw this first and I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be absolutely huge, but it's not really as big as I expected it to be. It's good. It's 80 by 124 on, um, 124 stitches 
and it's called My Stash is Huge. And it's My Stash is Huge and I'm Not Ashamed. And there's this cute little charm right in here as well. And you can see where that's sewn on there. So that's super cute. Um, black Velvet Ink Circles. This was on my list of things that I've seen recently. Um, I believe I may have seen it at a, one of the Frogwarts giveaways. So I got that. This one, I feel like I might have this one already, but just to be safe, I got it anyways. I saw Frosty stitched up and I want to do Frosty so bad. So got that one. Um, Arsenic and Old Lace by The Little Stitcher. Now this one, I, I love the table setting and the chandelier. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but, and I walked away from it and said, no, 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 I don't need that. Then I saw it stitched up and I'm like, I went back, I need that. So Arsenic and Old Lace, it isn't that just, look at that. I think it's really cool. And again, I think it can make some awesome little break it up and do some different things. Um, here we have Hands on Designs, Autumn Skies Pumpkin Pot, Autumn Skies is what it's called, and there's Autumn Skies Pumpkin Pies, and then we've got, um, This Way to the Pumpkin Patch, and then these cute little pumpkins, so I think that's cute. Another Hands on Design, Life Needs More Chocolate Bunnies, absolutely. Um, this one I've been staring at for a long time. Hands on design. God shed his grace on thee. It's called Memorial Day, it looks like. Yep, Memorial Day. I love the flags. Um, I don't have this one. It, this primrose let it snow. So I thought that was cute. Glendon Place. Okay, this one was in like a, a half price bin. Um, it says you can do this as a picture or a bell pull. But I feel like I can do this as some smalls. We got the reindeer games here going and all of the different reindeer. I can totally split them up and do have them hanging around. They might be fun to do as, um, I didn't even look to see how big they were. The whole thing is 48 wide by 678 high. Each design area is, well, the whole thing, um, let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I think I can split those up pretty nicely. Um, they had, uh, I've been staring at this one, Halloween Ouija, Ouija, Ouija. It's a five part mystery series. So they have each that's the beginning part and then they by tiny modernist and then they have each of the other four parts so this is the final finish with everything uh q is for quilt by sam sarah i thought that was absolutely adorable um a friend of mine was doing this one. I think this is the one she was doing and I just loved it when I saw it and it call, it's called Less Is More. Um, and it's a series by Lizzie Kate and they had all of the items together and it, it's a double flip. Now I'm not sure if there's charms actually with this one. Let me see. Let me just look. There are. Yep, so there's charms with it and in each one of them. And here's the whole series. It says, fear less, hope more, whine less, breathe more, talk less, say more, hate less, love more. So I had to get that one. All right, also, okay, this next one. I have not bought any stockings yet to do. First, I have to fold this one the right way so I can get it in here. Okay. So, this stocking, um, they had a bunch of different ones. This is from Nick, well, this is from Sam Sarah again. This one is called Nick and Chip. <gasps> Isn't that just so sweet? I love it. And I'm going to have to get more because look at the other ones they have. Look at the hot cocoa one. There's Nick and Chip. 
there's some ornaments there's some snowmen some christmas bulbs and then big big chunky fat reindeer oh my gosh they're so cute so i think i feel like i'm gonna have to get some more of these um alphabet i'm not i don't like the alphabets and samplers but i like fancy pretty alphabets so i found this one this one is alphabet and blanc so al white alphabet um from sue hillis designs There's that. Isn't that just, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. She's got so many pretty things. Excited for that one. Um, I've seen a lot of people do this one and I finally decided to do it because I saw the model stitched up and the model they stitched up, it was not that big. I'm like, I can do this. La -dee da Something wicked. Um, I got the Halloween Just Cross Stitch magazine. My subscription ran out, so I think I'm just going to buy the magazines as I come across them if I want them instead of continuing the subscription. My big toe, Pins and Needles. It's Pins and Needles, Needles and Pins when one piece is finished, another begins. Well, it's uh, Pins and Needles, Needles and Pins when one piece is started, another begins. <laughs> I think I might change it. I don't know. I might just leave it like that, but I think that's really cute. I love it. So that is what I got from Stitchery Nook from Osage, Iowa. So that was a super fun stop. All right, then we, I continued traveling on. Um, gas prices were like a dollar cheaper than what I had seen, you know, 75 cents to a dollar cheaper from where I'm up here. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing because I had to stop for gas a couple times. Imagine that. Um, and let's see, what else? Oh, I got to have some Cinnabons on the way down too. They had a, one of the gas stations actually had like a little Cinnabon kiosk inside. So I got some fresh Cinnabons. So that, was, that was a good treat. But I had to get down there for dinner because we had dinner with the Friday night stitching group and here's a picture of all of us we had a athena made t-shirts for everybody for connie and melina's floss tube channel count toy stitch once um so that was pretty fun so we all had were wearing our shirts and that was a surprise for connie and melina they didn't know we were going to do that so that was pretty cool um we went to last Cabos. It was a Mexican restaurant right in the basically the same parking lot as the hotel. So that was, it was delicious. I had spinach and was it artichoke in there? I don't know. It was like spinach and artichoke, I think kind of um, enchiladas with a white sour cream sauce on it. It was delicious. I really liked it. So, um, and then we had some beans. They were called barracho beans, and they were beans with beer and bacon mixed in, and it almost tasted like bean soup. So it's almost like you could have taken that and made a whole soup out of it and thrown more ham and stuff in there too, but it was really good. Uh, okay, so that was, look at my calendar, Wednesday. Then we did some, um, I'm going to wait to show you all of the things that I did stitch on. I brought like 18 projects with me because I wasn't sure what I've been doing. And if you last my, watch my last floss tube, I am doing all of it August. So I'm touching every single project of mine during the month of August. So I got a really good start while I was down there and I felt really good. So yeah. All right. So Thursday... We'll continue on with haul because we got up Thursday morning. Um, I went shopping with my roommate Lynn and also Jennifer Gorski and her mom. Um, that was really fun. And so we um, we went to a quilter station and then we also went to CC and Company. And so I've got, I'm looking for which bag that is. That's this bag here. What is this? Oh no, that's prizes. Okay, yeah. So here's this bag. All right, so I just put everything all in one bag and 
Um, so I'll try to remember where I got which thing from. All right, those are receipts. We don't need to worry about those. Okay, uh, Quilter Station. They had um, some pins and as you're up by the register so and I was looking through the pins and I was like oh those are super cute so I got some pins from just another button company I got Java with the coffee cup it's so fun um and I do have the coffee block from I think it's from hands-on design so I think that's perfect for it I'm pretty sure that's what it goes with um I got the I like the they have mi mini sets so it's just three pins. Um, this one has a little bird, a sheep, and a flower. It's cute. And then this one, Americana stuff. So there's that. Um, these I got from the other place. Um, Quilter Station had, it's a quilting company as, or a quilting, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's the words? It's a quilt store, a fabric store as well. So, um, they, so I got some fabric from there as well, but not just cross stitching stuff. Um, oh, here's another mini set. It has another coffee cup, a snowman and a little mitten. So very fun. All right. So I got some fabric from there. Um, Atomic from Atomic Ranch. This is called Caribbean Sea and it's 28 count. I'm venturing out because I love this color so much. So, so where is that? 28 count. Atomic Grant. It's a very, very pretty blue. Um, they had some vintage -y Halloween fabrics up front. So I got some Halloween. I got that one. And then I got some Halloween words to go with it as well. There's that. Um, just trying to like keep everything kind of straight here as to what I showed you and what I didn't show you yet. All right, and then I was walking around some more and I found some keys. Look at these keys. Aren't those great? So I found that fabric. And then I asked if they had any like sparkly metallic -y fabric and she had this sparkly silver. I think this is going to look pretty amazing with that. So there's that. This fabric has a bit of a different feel to it. Um, and maybe it's the metallic-y part of it that's making it do that. I don't know. But um, I don't know. We'll give it a we'll give it a whirl and see how it see how it works. So that's what I got from Quilter Station. Then we went to CC and Company and they had this model stitched up and I thought this was adorable and they had it on an opalescent, um, kind of a white opalescent fabric and I thought it was adorable. It's from Rosie and Me and it's called um, Esmeralda's Boutique Rooms. I thought that was fun. Um, they had this one, Dark Shards from Ink Circles, also stitched up, so I had to get that one. I thought that was beautiful. They had a Mill Hill kit, they had a few Mill Hill kits there, um, buttons and beads, and this one is ornaments. And it's not all beads, there's a lot of floss with that one, so I thought that was cute, and they even comes with a little button. And then I got some fabric from them, some Fortnite fabrics, uh, exceptional, 18 count. It's a greenish with some coppery, browny tones in there. And then this one's called Plush. This is a 16 count Ada. And I don't have a lot of the um, yellowy gold colors, so I thought this was really pretty. So I wanted to get that. And then they had some really fun zipper poles also or scissor fobs and so I had to get this one and this one we have to show you this one up close look at the teapot beads and that pumpkin at the bottom it reminds me of Cinderella but I love the autumn colors that are with it so I thought that was really fun 
And this was actually um, my big toe designs. So very, very fun. Yes, it is. So there's that. And then I got to get for somebody and I forgot to give it to them. So I got to get that to them. Oh, I got to get that out to them. Okay. Next. So that was Thursday morning shopping. Um, let's see. Then at two, so we hung out a little bit. We, I think we went to Starbucks, got some lunch, did a little, I think I might've started stitching in the room. Registration opened at two. So we went down there shortly after two and started a retreat, started the official retreat. When we got there, they gave us swag bags. So here's the, the bag that everything was in. And I was able to pretty much put all of my stuff into here. Um, I did get a cup also. I don't have the cup with me because I knew I wasn't going to use it. So I gave that to Lynn. Lynn said she would use it, so I gave that to her. Um, but if you watch her video, like I said, she did an excellent recap of everything. So check her out. Um, so we got that bag, and then we got this project bag inside of it. And wait till you see. You, you'll know how big this bag is once I start pulling everything out of it. We got a book sleeve from the Love You More Studio with the camp themes on it. It's the camp fabric. We got... Um... We got two patterns. One is called Wander, and this is the design of it. And it says, Wander without reason or purpose. And it has uh, lightning bugs or fireflies all around it, the trees, the tent, all kinds of things. It's absolutely, I love it. Um, Lynn got a picture of it in her video. So uh, on the break table, so you wanna check that out. We got two patterns. We got the big pattern and then we got the small snail pattern, the happy camper. Look at that snail. That snail is so stinking adorable. I love it. And we got the floss for all of it. So we, we got um, a little ring with a little tag that says wander without reason or purpose. And then we, all of this is from Forbidden Fiber. We got Envy, which is this pretty green. Um, lemon Curd, which is a nice bright yellow. And then there's a, I'll hold it next to each other so you can see the difference here. There's a lighter yellow called Pineapple. Then we have Copper. Christmas Ivy, Calypso, um, and then I'll, oh, they're both Calypso. One looks lighter than the other. Um, Witch's Brew, and then Magnolia. So there are all of the colors for all of the pattern. Um, we got two pieces of fabric. We got the, um, I got the 16 count from Fiber on a Whim, and this is called Lagoon. And here is, so this little piece for the snail, and then this big piece for the project, for the bigger pattern. And then uh, we all got this cute little ruler from Quilter Station, no, CC and Company. This is from CC and Company. But this is super cute. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little ruler and it's a three inch ruler. Instead of having the big square, it's nice and compact. So you can have that. And they had, gave us a little um, coupon for 10% off as well. So that was nice. And then a blanket. I have not opened my blanket yet. Um, I'm going to not open my blanket on camera because 
I have enough stuff laying all over. But remember, Linux stitches. <laughs> Go see her. She holds it up. It is adorable. Or you know what? What I'll do after this when I edit, we'll put a picture of it right here. So there you go. <laughs> so that was fun. And that, um, oh, and then they had, um, everybody walked around and had all kinds of little prizes and things like that. So we got these floss tags from uh, Katie and Laura. I think these were from Laura um, to go with our pattern. So you can see that this is the same as that. So we got floss tags for all of that as well. That was pretty good, huh? But wait, there's more. Um, they had these cute little, um, I didn't take it, pictures of it or anything like that, but there was um, some campers in the middle and um, I was lucky enough to bring one of the campers home. So here's the camper I got. And then they had these cute little buckets in there and um, other, some of my other table mates weren't taking all the buckets, so I grabbed, grabbed three of them. Like, these are perfect for just, you know, putting things here or there all around and, um, you know, toss it as I need to or whatever at the end. So I thought that was pretty fun. Um, okay, next. Next, what do I have? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I forgot this. I was videotaping, I was doing my video editing and... I did not talk about the amazing t-shirt that we got from Athena X Stitches, our camper t-shirts. I am going to go ahead and throw a picture of the t-shirt in here. Um, I'm borrowing a photo from Lynn. Somebody took the, um, so I'm using the same photo as I, as she's um, with, she and I got our pictures taken together and we had our t-shirts on so um i am gonna post that picture here now so you can see those amazing t-shirts from athena stitching goddess designs you guys they were amazing it was so so cool because i don't know that the feel of the t-shirt was just so super nice and the multicolors everything it was quite amazing she did an excellent job so here it is, and then back to the action. Um, so basically, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we were at the retreat. We went out to eat a couple different places. We went to the place called Jazz that had New Orleans style food. Um, it was good. It was really good. I tried fried oysters. I don't know if I'll ever have fried oysters again, but I tried them. It was a lot of deep fried food. I tried hush puppies. They were delicious. Um, we did get beignets, but I never got to eat one. So I'm kind of sad about that, but you know, life happens. Um, and then let's see. What else? What else? Oh, what a burger. We had, I've never had a Whataburger, so we ordered Whataburger for lunch and we went and picked it up. This is how much Whataburger we brought back. They gave us a bag. And this is a nice reusable bag, so I got to bring home the Whataburger bag. <laughs> you know, it's the little things in life, right? Um, let's see. So... They had a break or a freebie table. Um, so I was, I did get some things. Oh, here's my, they had a little um, name tag there. Um, so I got some things off the freebie table. One of them is Kesslin's My Day Complete. It says, I cannot count my day complete till needle, thread, and fabric meet. I just love that little design. That was cute. Um, this is from a needle and a Fred. And you know what? This feels thick. I wonder if there's something in there. Now I have to look. I wonder if the fabric is in there. Oh, the floss is actually in there. This is a kit. 
amazing is that? All right. Well, that's awesome. It's, I love my carbs. And the floss is with it. That's super cute. Um, we hit from New York Dreamer. Coffee gets me started. Jesus keeps me going. I might change it up just a little bit, but I love the part of that. Um, Trail Creek Farm, the House of Halloween. I love that fun too. And I might change it. I might change the colors up. I think the colors are just a little too over the top for me on that house, but um, I can make it work. And then, you know, I'm not really sure. Like, I had some things that I put in the free box and and, but I feel like I may have had this and I might have put this in the free box myself, but I picked this up my, for this right here. Um, so either I have it already or I put it in the free box and took it back. I don't know. It's from Stony Creek Wildlife Wonders. <laughs> so that was the free bin of things that I got. Um, oh, I picked up my prize giveaway from Frogwarts because I guessed who Peeves was. Peeves was Eunice. Um, just make sure there's nothing else in there. Um, so here is my prize pack. I did have one other pattern in here, but it was a duplicate, so I did give that to somebody else. Um, I already had it at home, so um, Orange Tree Sampler. That one I did not have, so that's neat. Um, I don't know if I'll stitch it or not, but I don't know. I might change up the colors. It, the owl is cute. You know, it's cute. I might just change up the colors and stuff on it. I got some um, Halloween labels by Kathy Barrick. And there's all kinds of different labels in there. I got a pair of scissors. Hello. Yes, I love scissors. And look at the colors on those scissors. Those are fun. I'm going to need a scissor sheath for that. Hopefully I've got one. Um, here's a fun little um, scissor fob. So that will go with my scissors. And then a little needle minder from Accoutrement Designs. A fun little haunted house. So that's what I got for my prize from Frogwarts when I picked it up. Um, let's see. They had, I keep holding that there because I want to talk about that a little bit too. There's stuff in there. Um, uh, they had some shopping happening while we were there. And I bought a couple things from the, from some heat from the vendors. They had a little vendor section. Um, so from Jonesy Stitchery, I got a coffee a day keeps the chaos away. Super cute. Oh, and there's an extra little pattern on the back with, um, I can't show it to you because it's just the chart, but it's um, a Christmas tree made out of coffee beans. Super cute. I missed that before. That came with Snickerdoodle Coffee from the North Pole. And then I got Cappuccino and Cocoa Bean Floss. So that was a fun little thing. Um, oh, I don't have the name of this on here. I think her name is Heather. I can't remember though. Um, she had some Harry Potter needle minders. Um, so I did get a couple of them. I got a sorting hat because I don't have a sorting hat yet. I got this cool clock. Um, I got platform nine and three quarters because I didn't have one of those yet. Oof -da. And then I got um, a stack of books with the um, scarf on top of there. So that was fun. Um, from uh, that I got from a friend, but I can't show because I'm giving it to somebody else. Um, let's see here. Dying for Sass is another vendor that was there. Jenny, she was quite amazing. Guys, look at this floss. It's called Nola. Dying for Sass. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Um, and then I guess I was on a purple kick when I was at her booth because I got 18 counts. It's called Ace Pride. Let me hold it together so you can see the full effect of it. So that's one side of it. And then there's the other side. So I can do something really fun on here. I don't know what I'm going to do on here yet, but something fun, definitely. Um, okay. Uh, they had uh, gift uh, raffles and things like that. And so you would donate to the... I can't even remember what was actually there. Donating to... Oh my goodness, I can't remember off the top of my head. But... It was towards uh, food and things for people that need food. And I feel like it might have been for part of the Ukraine items. Um, and they donated, everybody there donated about $2,200 total. It was, it was pretty amazing. Um, so there were some different bags and things like that in happening. And I was, one of my, somebody I know got this. And, um, so I was, she's like, I don't want this. Does anybody want this? So I got hers. Isn't that cute? And it has some coffee in there. So that was pretty fun. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's Ray Dunn. This is, I think this is my first Ray Dunn cup. Um, and then let's see. Oh, Melina, she had a knitting book that, um, she said she was gonna bring me and oh my goodness. Cuteness overload here. It's called Pampered Pooches, 12 knitting patterns for the well-dressed dog. Yes, we are gonna make Jinxie Bell some clothes. And look at those knitting needles. Aren't they just adorable? So Jinxie Bell, I don't know if we're gonna make her some leg warmers or what we're gonna make her, but we have to make her something so cause so she can be a well-dressed dog. It's just, it's adorable. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you for thinking of me. Um, all right, let's see. I told you this was gonna be a long one. Um, I haven't even done stitchy progress. I have two smalls exchanges. I have my um, July, Christmas in July box because I picked it up there at retreats and I even have that big pile of haul. So if you guys have not, you know, at this point, you know, gotten your snack or need a beverage, you can go ahead and go ahead and pause this and go grab that. Cause we're going to be here for probably another hour. <laughs> and I have the day off work. I took the day off work specifically to regroup and get everything done and taken care of so that when I get back, I can concentrate on work and be done. So I've got all day. Do you have all day? If you don't have all day, you can pause and come back another day too. It's really okay. I won't know and I won't have hurt feelings because I understand people have things they have to do too. But wherever you pause, I'll be here waiting for you when you come back. Okay, next. Next on our agenda, let's talk about, oh, there was um, a, I can't show you that one. Um, let's talk about the fact that so many people are so generous. Um, as I was going through, I was cleaning out the bags and I was watching Lynn X Stitches her video and I was like, oh my gosh, I have so many like floss tags and needle minders and things like that. Um, and that's why I have this bag here still. I brought along like 120 or so little things to give away. I felt like I was a little waitress kind of a deal. I had tea, so I had like my little card in there with my information and then I had either tea or a coffee cake cup. So I had Dunkin' Donuts, either French vanilla, hazelnut, or regular. And for tea, I had chamomile, pomegranate, or Earl Grey, Earl Grey tea. So, and I probably have about 20 left, so I'm, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, so that's pretty fun. So that's what I have left in this bag. That can go over there now. But I got things from other people too. So let's talk about the things that I got. I 
and got a needle minder from Lynn X Stitches. I got a little wood stock. Um, I got these little charms. It's on like a little zipper pull or scissor fob type situation with a little clasp there. And this is from Sue Houghton and it's a little carriage with beads. Um, I got some floss drops from Three Trail Stitchers. We, two of them were there. Um, Carrie, no, Sarah and Whitney were there. So that was pretty fun. Um, I got a floss drop from Dine for Sass. I got floss drops from Kevin Reiki and project cards from his wife, Erica Reiki. And they're going to start a flash tube, I hope. So if you know them, tell them to start soon. They said, I asked them when they were going to start it. They said soon. I asked them a couple weeks ago when they said we're going to start it. They said soon. So soon means eventually. When is soon? I can't wait to see it. Um, let's see what else here. I got, a, I don't know who this is from, but I got this cute, this is like cardboard. It's pretty neat. Um, a little tag. Um, I got this cute little camper. You can stitch on it. Um, floss drops from Unleashed Crafter, Sarah Thomas. Her Instagram is Unleashed Crafter. Um, I got a flash drop from I'm not sure who this is from. Black Hills, South Dakota. Um, I got some more flash drops from somebody from here. That's really cool. And it was really neat how they did the little, they did a square punch there. And the information on the back there to write the project title and the floss name or number. I got some more flash drops here from Megan Webb. I had some flash drops from Megan from um, Frozen Crafter. Um, I don't know where they are though. I thought I, I've gone through everything. They were so cute sushi ones and I don't know where they are. So I'm guessing a table may got them, but that's okay. I've, I've got a lot of flash drops, so we're good. Um, here is a cute little little mouse guy from Anna Seifert. Um, let's see. I'm just going through all the flash drops that I have here first. Um, Jen Tuart, Jen Marie. Um, these are so cute. Here, here's some more from New Jersey, Heidi Levine, and she is the happy crafter. She is doing the um, uh, Pulled Your Guys Pirate Sal with us. Here are some other cute ones, and I got a little shell on this one, and this is from her Instagram is Mary Ellen Loves to Craft. So there's a little shell there. Those are fun. Um, let's see. Those are all of the flash drops. I got a bunch of needle minders. Here's a cute little frog from Sheila Miller. Um, and I'm not, some of these are just loose, so I'm not sure who they're all from. Um, I got some potion bottles. Um, there to see them. And I think this one's Amertensia. Mertensia. Um, I got this cute little, little tiny little caterpillar guy from Connie from Count Toy Stitch once. Um, I got, here's another Harry Potter one I got. The Coat of Arms. Um, here's one, Dream Until Your Dreams Come True. It's a cute one. I got a cute little snail 
I believe this is from Jennifer Gorski, I think. It's not in the same bag, but I'm pretty sure it is. I got a little bunny rabbit from Ray Slade. I got some fun, cute floss jewelry from somebody. I'm sorry, there's I don't have a name on that one. I got a little needle book. Let's see, from Jen H2 HCO 2000. That was cute. Um, I got a cute little, from Tracy Beecher, we got this little um, bag of stuff. And it has a cute little camper in there, a camper sticker. It has flash drops and it has flood jewelry too. Me. It's stuffed full. So, oh, it's just a ring. It's There's no jewelry on it, but that's okay. Because, um, look at these from Fargo. Aren't those cute? Look at that. I love it. Pocket Creations Pup. It's very cute. I love it. Um, I got a needle minder from Dusty. She's from Arizona. It's so cute. Um, I got a little, um, thread like a scissor fob from Ukraine. This is for the so that was pretty cool. Um let's see. And Jennifer Gorski. I got this little bag of stuff from Jennifer Gorski from the Frog Stitcher. And I had two frogs on there. I got a green frog and a yellow frog. They're so adorable. She is, Jennifer is amazing. And I got candy. Look at the candy. I can't believe I haven't eaten the Charleston Chews yet. I love those. And some frog stickers. So super, super cute. I love it. I love it all. And then there was, um, uh, Jessica at our table. Jessica? Yeah, Jessica. We had Jessica, Jennifer, and Andrea, um, that were at our table. There was Lynn and, um, Melina, myself, Stacy state from Stacy stitches and Athena. So th those were my table mates. And we got this cute little baby tin. And in this tin, you guys, it's it's amazing. There's a bobbin of 310. There's a little baby highlighter. And it's it's so cute. Um, there's a counting pin. There's a floss needle threader. And this little tiny thinking little baby scissors. Look at tweezers. My gosh. This is that was super cute. I love this. This was very thoughtful. Thank you so much. Um and then oh, and then we got this little box um from Katie and Laura. Oh, I just found out my other things that I lost. Oh, I'm so happy. I didn't realize I put them in the little box. I think I might have found my sushi. Okay. All right. So, um, those were a duplicate. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I opened this. Okay. I took something out from, oh, I got, um, a cute little floss, um, wax from Susan. So here's Susan Houghton, and it's in the shape of a little flaming, flamingo. Um, I had a heart one around. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, I just found all the things I thought I lost. Oh, I got another little floss conditioner in hearts. Oh. oh my goodness, it's so funny. Okay, um, T. Jeter. Oh, I'm trying to think who T. Jeter was. 
Um, I got these cute little floss cards. I got a cute, oh, the sticker, I believe, came in the camp box. Keep calm and cross-stitch. Um, I got some floss drops from the Pattern Queens, Keisha and um, Laura. I got, this is a cute little, um, it's, a, it's a pocket quilt. The pocket quilt was made especially for you. Slip it in your pocket when your fingers touch the heart inside the quilt. Be a reminder that you are amazing, you are important, you are loved. So there's a little heart inside the inside the quilt. So that's that's really cool. And this was from items made by hand with a heart, but I don't know who I got it from. Oh. When you come back to the table, there's all kinds of things just sitting there. Here's my sushi ones from Frozen Crafter from Megan. Look at these sushi guys. Aren't they fun? Oh, so cute. So cute. And I got some tiny little ones. These are from Brittany Crafts. So these are from Brittany. And then... Um, these are from Black Needle Society. Um, it was, uh, it's this cute little box and there's more flash drops with a ring to hold them together, a little ruler to measure, and then a sticker. So I am so happy I found those. I forgot I shoved them in there and I was, I was really sad that I was missing those floss drops and that because yeah but I got them so we're all good so that was you know not everybody brought things but a lot of people brought things um so that was pretty fun okay let's see where are we gonna go next let's um mm. we had an art and craft time um, we had a couple art and craft sessions. One was put on by the Black Needle Society and what they did is they had these notebooks in the room and you, some scrapbooking supplies so you could go back and make a little notebook. So I decorated my little notebook, a 2020 Camp BNS retreat, and you passed it around and people signed your book. So I thought that was a great idea. Um, I met so many new people and so it's like I've, I've known a bunch, I knew a bunch of people. I met a, a bunch of people from Stitch West last year and then I met more people online and then I've talked to them more and now I've met more people and I've heard more names and I've met more people and more people and more people and it was just, oh, it was so fun. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tables or so. I think um, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people at our table. So maybe there were more than 10 tables because I thought there were close to 100 people there. Um, it was it was pretty fun. Carla Rolodex Stitcher. Holy cow. She she is amazing. There's just there's no words to describe her. She is amazing. Um, I've always heard her name. I've never watched her floss tube. I am going to watch her floss tube now. She is, she's one of those top ones on my list. And she, she says it how it is. She says it how she wants to say it. And there's no holding her back. And I love her for it. And I just, she's just sunshine. She's just bright and oh, she's amazing. It's quite amazing. Um, there were so many fun people. Jenny from Dine. Uh, I know exactly who she is now. With Dine for Sass. Yeah, Dine for Sass. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going around table by table. I met, I got to meet so many people in person that I've had been on chats with. Um, Jordan Ginter, she's on a lot of chats and things like that that we see. Um, I finally got to meet her in person. 
I met all the Friday night people in person. Um, I met three or four people from Minnesota. Um, Christy, and I'm Christy, I don't remember your name or your last name. Um, Tona, I met, or Tana, I think it's Tana. Um, and then Cheryl, I've seen Cheryl on a few chats, and so I met her. So those are three Minnesotan people that I met, and I was so super excited. Uh, Tracy from North Dakota. Um, oh, just so many people. There was there was so much. Uh, Claire, um, she was pretty amazing. She came from Chile. Um, there were so many people. Um, gosh, who else? I and I'm just I'm trying to like go around the room and picture people in that. Um, Jennifer Gorski finally got to meet her in person. I got big hugs from people that you don't get to hug and it's like, oh yeah, big hug. Um, it's, oh my goodness. Kevin and Erica Riki from California. Everybody was from everywhere. Um, Stacy from Florida. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, Sue. Sue. I met Sue. And it's Sue Gonzalez. I'm like, I'm missing your name. I'm missing your last name. Sue Gonzalez from Virginia Beach. So I know where I'm, I know who I'm visiting if I ever get to Virginia Beach. Um, gosh, there's so many people and so many, so many fun, fun, fun. Oh, it's, it was amazing. It was completely amazing. There, I just, it's overwhelming. It's, I, I feel like I needed to have a video camera going the entire time to document every single thing. So if I had not mentioned your name, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm still staring at everything around me too. It was, it was a fun, well, what was it? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days, five full days. Well, Wednesday was driving, but Wednesday night started it all. Um, yeah. So it was, it was really cool. Um, let's see. What do I got going on here next? What's, what's next on my agenda? I talked about that. I talked about that. Um, oh, okay. Here. Oh, let's talk about some, sm no, let's talk about, yeah, let's talk about some smalls exchanges. Um, so I had, I have two small exchanges here. Um, and one of them was the Smalls Exchange from camp. <laughs> and I did my Smalls Exchange. Okay, so the theme was supposed to be summer, but I'm like, camp, you know, summer, it all fits. I, here's a picture of my Smalls Exchange. And Tana from Minnesota got this one. And she loved it. I'm so happy she loved it. I knew somebody special had to get it that, and I was hoping they really knew who who it was that or what it was. It was um, well, as you saw, it was Jason from Friday the Thirteenth with welcome campers on it. But I did some socks in there, and what else did I put? A coffee mug, a uh, Camp Crystal Lake bag, Camp Crystal Lake needle minder, and just in case you needed to watch the movies again. I found a good deal on a whole set of the movies. Oh, I'm like, all right, there we go. I think that was everything in there. Um, so I had fun doing that one. I really did. And now I get to make a second one because there was somebody else that really wanted that one too. And so I have enough fabric left over and I have a the pattern. So I'm making a second one. But what I got from my Smalls Exchange, um, and I did not pay attention to any of the bags that went in there. I ended up getting Stacy's, um, Stacy Stitches. I got her Smalls Exchange and um, I didn't even see, all I saw was a pink bag with pink and I'm like, I want that, I want pink. And on as I'm carrying it back, I saw the strawberries. This was hanging on the outside of it. So if that gives you a clue at all as to what is in my bag, um, or what was in my bag, let me just pull everything out. Oops, I got things falling. I got things falling all over the place. I'm like, 
where's the actual small? Okay. All right. So this is what I got from Stacy. Oh, and let me actually find the card because in the card it explains what it is. Um, it is Strawberry Manor by the French Giraffe, and it's on color and cotton, and by and the floss is Classic Needleworks. So, isn't that adorable? I love it. So cute. And she has her little initials down there on the bottom, and it's a cute little flap. So, that's I already know where it's going to go, um, but that's not all. There, There's more. I got this cute little sign. It's got cute beads with a strawberry on it. I got a cute little strawberry needle minder. And then I got this little bin. It's, it's like a, a ceramic strawberry tin with some little strawberries. And strawberry can I love these strawberry candies. I absolutely love these. A lot of people don't like them. I love them. They're, some people call them the candies in the grandma's in the bottom of grandma's purse, but I love those candies. And then some little extra fabric from the finishing. So, yeah, so I'm so super excited. Um, so I need to I need to go decorate after I'm done here with my floss tube. Um, so that is super, super cute. All right. So that was my smalls exchange from Stacy for the Camp BNS. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it and adore it. And so cool. Okay. Then we had a smalls exchange for, um, Stacy <laughs> does, has a group that does a smalls exchange and we do it a I think we do it two times a year I can't remember if it's two or three times a year now um but um I've done it before and I did it again I did it at Chris we did it last Christmas I believe and then we had a fall one I sent mine out so this is what I sent her name is Shannon um, and I had fun doing that little owl and found some little coffee stuff to go with it. So sent that out. But this is what I got from my person and my person who had me. It's called the Not So Secret Exchange, which is kind of cool because you, you know who you're, who's stitching for you and who you're stitching for it was Lynn. So Lynn X Stitches has been stitching for me. And if you guys have been watching her videos the last few weeks, or so she keeps talking about it that she can't show it because she knows that I watch and oh my gosh so I finally I got my small and here is what I got look at this this is so adorable it's this cute little haunted house on this paper mache box and she painted it and she did like a wax um so you Gosh, she told me what it was she used. Was it actual wax? I feel like it was actual wax. And then you just kind of do it on so it has like this finish to it. Isn't that really cool? I love it. Oh my gosh, look at the fabric it's on too. And then inside there, I got a tail tucker. And I love that she even labeled what it was. That is so cute. Um, I got a cute little scissors. Some absolutely fun stickers. And two sizes, the snake repair needles. A thinner one and a thicker one, which is perfect timing because I lost my snake and habit. When I was packing, I couldn't find my snake and habit. I don't know where it is. I think it's in this corner over there somewhere, but I don't know. So that was all in the box. But wait, there's more. That's not it. That's not it. I got this cool mug. Happy haunting and it has a lid on it and a little pop-up thing so super fun and she knows I like cinnamon and cake I got mug treats cinnamon roll mug treats and so I don't burn my hands when I take it out of the up uh, out of the microwave I got some Snoopy pot holders 
and I'll know that it's from Lynn every time I see it because of Snoopy. Aren't they just adorable? And then some fabric, some candy corn fabric. So that was pretty amazing as well. So that was my smalls exchange for the not so secret Stacy stitches exchange for fall. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you so much. And Lynn was my roommate. I think I said that a couple times. Oh my gosh, she is she is truly an amazing woman as well. Everybody's amazing. If you're not amazing, you're not my friend. And I have a lot of friends, so I, everyone's amazing. How's that? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, all right. I'm looking at everything here of what I have left. I have my pile of things that were waiting for me when I got home. Oh, we had more crap, more arts and craft time. Hold, please. More arts and craft time. And here's a picture. Athena and Melina wanted to learn how to knit. So, we brought yarn and needles and we went and I taught them how to knit. Um, so, this isn't what they did. Um, but this was just a little bit of what I told, they want to knit a hat with a, a bun a opening for a messy bun. So a messy bun hat. And I told them that they couldn't start with that. They had to start with a dishcloth. So I was teaching them how to start with a dishcloth and just do a regular garter stitch dish, dishcloth. So they did really good. Um, they were picking it up and... I don't know if they'll continue. I have a feeling Melina's gonna continue. I'm not sure if Athena is, but I will make them messy bun hats. Uh, so we're gonna get together for Galleria in about a month. So I'm like, all right. So I will have messy bun hats for them there, but um, I hope they enjoyed it. I hope they liked it and it was, it was fun. And I found out that it seems a lot of people who cross stitch also knit as well. So that was, that was pretty, pretty good. I brought along my vest to work on, but I never touched it. Um, but I did, and I remember I brought along 18 projects to work on, um, and I did, I think, seven. So let's do some haul. Um, I didn't have starting pictures for everything, but I have a good idea of where I was at when I started. So this one is my historical society, historic, here it is. Historical Sampler Society, um, Baba Black Sheep. So this is what I was working on. I think I started this, I actually started this February 14th. And I was working on my sheep. So I, I, were, I did at least two and a half sheep. So I'm getting that done. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm doing all the outlines of the sheep first. So that's where I'm going. So I did get some of my sheep done. And this is a nice one because I don't need the pattern to guide me along because I just look at the sheep that I did a you know other spots. So it was, it was an easier one to work on in a group. So... There's that one. We started, oh, let's see. We did a couple, two different ones. Oh, well, these are all kind of that. Okay. Oh, wait, so do I have seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven. Okay. Um, Poltergeist Pirates. Lynn made us the bags with the fabric. Um, we had myself, Lynn, Jennifer Gorski, Kevin Rickey, and Heidi Levine all start the pirate sale, the Poltergeist Pirate Sale, hashtag Poltergeist Pirates. If you would like to join us with Poltergeist Pirates, this is Poltergeist Pirates from Glendon Place, feel free to use that sale, hashtag Poltergeist Pirates. Um, we had, here's a picture of before we started our official start and go kind of deal. Um, I got 
And we had a, pir a pirate party. We had hats. I gave my sword to Keisha's little boy, James. Um, he really, he was having fun with that the next day. Um, I had it, oh, there's my eye patch. I have an eye patch. And we had tattoos that people could put on too if they wanted. So we had tattoos, the eye patch. Oh, and we had mustaches as well. Um, so that was pretty fun. It was it was a blast. So I did start. Um, I started where I try to do a center start, but I, where I started was this little crow's nest area right there. I am doing this on 28 count, and here is my official start. I color completed that section of the crow's nest. <laughs> I will pull this out and work on it more, um, but I just, I don't have all of my floss. All my floss is just thrown in here like this, so it wasn't in a good organized manner. So now that I, once I organize that, I will be able to start that and work on that in a better fashion. Um, the next sale that we had was Wama Wink, um, hashtag hot dog llama sal, sal or hashtag WTF tar sal or something like that. I don't know what one of it. I'll put the hot dog llama sal on here, sal on here. So if you guys ever heard of Centaur World, Centaur World, and I can't show you the picture of it, of the pattern. Well, it's a freebie pattern, but I'll show it way back here. This is Wama Wink. Okay, so that's Wama Wink. And that is a free chart out on um, online. And Wama Wink is from Centaur World, one of the magical beans. Um, oh, I forgot to show you something. Okay, we'll go back to that. Um, and this is <clears throat> my start of Wama Wink. So these are his, Wama Wink's legs and then the legs here and then the body will come up and then the head there. So, and I'm doing my, mine on, look at the sparkly white fabric. Pretty cool. Um, I'm doing that on there. So hashtag hot dog llama sal sal and I got this really fun bag from Lynn X stitches um I felt that my wama wink had to have a flying pig bag so it definitely fits um I forgot to show you um we had other fun things um for our pirate sal we have this we did a little more arts and crafts Wednesday night. We did some beading. And here is my little scissor fob slash zipper pull. I added it onto Lynn's button zipper pull here. So that was pretty cool that it worked on there. And then we got a needle minder from Heidi. And it's a Kraken. Isn't that cool? And that Kraken is from, I thought I had the slip in here. Yes. Um, caffeinated cat crafts. So that is where that came from. So if you like that Kraken, that is where it is from. So yes, there it is again pretty darn fun. Um, so yeah, that was it. So we, uh, um, yeah, we started that. Okay. So those were two cells that we started. Um, there's a group of people doing fancy ladies. Um, hashtag virgin fancy lady Sal. Um, all of that. Don't forget the Sal. And I am doing a Nora Corbett. I am doing Electra. 
And here is how far I did this. I worked on this on Friday night. Um, so I had this done and a couple of this, and I ended up doing this and coming back up. So that is what I worked on Friday night. Let's get that out of there. There. So the pumpkin, the... You can kind of see where I've gotten to. I'm excited. I don't feel like this one is going to be overwhelming and too out of control to handle. So I feel like I can get this one done within a year. Um, the next one, I, another one I worked on was Goodnight Sleep Tight. And here is my Goodnight Sleep Tight by Fairy Wool in the Woods. And this one... Remember, I had a really hard time with this log, and I had to frog it all and redo it. Well, I made some progress. Take that off of there, put that up. And I got the log completely filled in. So I got all of the words done and all of the stripes done. I didn't get the end of the log filled in, but then I started doing the white up above. So... That guy is underway as well. So that was a good one to work on. That was a good filler one to do in a group setting as well. Then we had, um, I brought along, find the, look for the beauty. And I was over here on the tree, on the grass and stuff like that. And I had to frog a lot of the grass and redo that a little bit. But I did. And I started, so I finished the grassy part over there. And I started the house and I started the tree. So there's where I'm at with that. And I am changing all the colors up. And I'm doing this on nut. I don't know like what the brand is or anything like that. It's just the colors nut. So that's what that is. So I did do a little bit of stitching. You always ha go with so many great intentions of doing so much stitching, but I, th I feel like I did pretty good. Okay, and then the last one I did is my Harry Potter. I was working on Harry Potter year three so this is my year three for Harry Potter. I had the whole top done, um, but what I was working on and what I wanted to verify since it's, it was the BNS retreat is what I could do for my border. Cause I don't, I didn't want to do the, um, the diamonds all the way across. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do still a full border across but I'm going to take these footsteps in here and I'm going to put footsteps along the bottom and I'm gonna fill it in with bandana. So I started my bandana line across the bottom um, and got that started going. And then the words that are along the bottom, it's kind of hard to see there. Let's see if we can find the, the one that's on the natural color. There you go. That's a little easier to see. So on the, the line on the across the bottom, there's words, and it says, "I solemnly swear I'm up to no good, mischief managed." Um, I'm going to actually chart those words and put them above the top and above the bottom and along the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do for that. So that'll still count for full finishes. So pretty excited for that as well. So that is my stitchy progress that I have had for the week. Um, I haven't worked on anything yet today and I did no stitching last night. Um, I did, came, I came home and Jinxie Bell was so happy to see me. She even took a selfie with me and she must have missed me because she was, she was hanging out with me on the camera here a little bit in the beginning too. And my husband was happy to see me. He made, he was smoking the meat. He made like some sort of a burnt end brisket thingy or my body. So here's a picture of him all happy with doing all that. Um, so yeah, so that is, okay, so I did my stitchy progress. 
I did all the little giveaway things, all of my haul, all of my prizes, all of my wins. The only things I have left now are my unboxing, Christmas in July unboxing, and my pile of stuff that I got that I don't even know what's over there yet. So let's do Christmas in July next. Are you ready? Here we go, Christmas in July. Now I have looked at this, so it's not a surprise to me. I opened it because I wanted to see what was in it because um, other people were getting the boxes too. So I just wanted to, yeah, I, I knew I'd be seeing it. Um, so let's see, where do I, let's start with the pattern. So the pattern in Christmas July. So this is Christmas in July. This is the July box from Black Needle Society. Um, it is from RATM, a snowflake, a snowflake Quaker style from RATM. Isn't that pretty? And on the back, she's got so many other pretty things too. I do like her stitching. Um, we got fabric from Forbidden Fiber Company, and I got the 14 count Ada. This is called Glacier, and that's the colors are actually showing up really good there. Very, very nice. We got some stickers. Let's see. We got wrapping paper. So I can wrap some gifts for people. Um, uh, we got a cross, a uh, caterpillar cross stitch needle minder. We got a gingerbread house. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. I love it. Um, Let's see, we got some trims and finishes. So there's like different things in here. There's like charms and hangers and things. And then also some different finishing trims. So we could do some ornaments or trims, hangers and charms for the Black Needle Society. And it's called Silver and Gold. Oh, we got a sucker handmade lollipop from Hammond's and it's peppermint. We got some holiday socks, slipper socks, and floss. Gotta get the floss. And here are the flosses we got. So the floss is from Threadworks. Um, we got an overdyed floss. This one, they don't have names, they have numbers. Um, let me just make, yep, they're all different numbers. This one is like a little peppermint stripe kind of thing, and it's 01087. Um, here is a, kind of a Christmassy ivy green, 010602. It looks close to my fingernails. Um, this one is a really pretty snowflakey blue, 010140. And this one is a Krynik Fine Braid Overdyed. Um, this is a metallic, and this one is, I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it. It's kind of a silvery, crystally kind of color. 411. Two, three, one. So cool. So those will be fun. Excited for that box. So that was the July, Christmas in July subscription box. And I know a lot of other people did the unboxings of that already. I tried not to watch them, so I wasn't completely spoiled by when I got to open the box. Um, and I wasn't. So Okay, I have some more haul. I got some things from Stacy Stitches. So the rest of this is all haul. Um, I'll talk about plans after I'm done with this. So since she was gonna be at um, 
the retreat, she brought the things along with her to give to me. Um, I made sure I kept this packed up because I didn't want this to break. This was um, a little a little jar that and I can put a finished project out like a pin keep kind of thing in the top of here. So I'm excited for this. I already know what I'm gonna do with it. So she goes out to antique stores and finds these things. Um, we, you could use it as a scissor frog thing where you put your scissors in as well. Um, so you could, there's a lot of fun things you could do with this. Um, check out her website, Stacey X Stitches. Um, and she has a lot of fun things. Um, she's actually putting a lot of the pre-orders for uh, Needlework Expo out there as well. So check that out. But yeah, she does. A, she goes antiquing and finds these things and posts them on her website for people. So it, they're pretty fun. Pretty amazing. I saw some of the stuff and I'm like, I want that, I want that, I want that. So there's more I wanted to, but I just got the one so far. And then I had to get some patterns, of course. They had, she was having her Christmas, or her um, sale. Um, she always sends stickers and things like that with her orders. So that was awesome. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Um, I got Autumn Littles. I think these guys are so cute. Waxing, of course, waxing wooden designs. I love waxing wooden designs. Those are so fun. Um, Primrose Cottage Stitches, a boobash. The, uh, the pumpkins and then the one cat in there. From Stony Creek, hedges, hedgehogs in the snow. Isn't that cute? Um, Dreaming Miss Claus from Barbara Anna Designs. I've been looking at that one. And I did order Starry Night as well. So that one's just on back order right now. So that one will be coming in soon. Um, Edgar Allan Poetry, Nevermore from Tiny Modernist. Isn't that fun? Um, St. Patty's Day Trio from Annabella's. I just love that little cute green owl. He's adorable. Um, Crescetta Gogo, The Pledge of Allegiance. I love this. Here's the everything on it. And then I'll do a little close up there as well. So cool. Um, Crescetta Gogo, Christmas Green Chic. And this is, I actually got a small like this from Stacy for Christmas last year. I believe I got the Gingerbread Man. Um, I think these are so cute. Um, from Romy's Creations, O is for Owl and P is for Potion. And this is part of the Halloween alphabet. So that was my order from Stacy. All right, so let's see here. So my packages are not all craft related. Some are wedding related items as well. So I'm not going to pull, show you everything. Um, but I know some of them are crafty related. Um, Fortnite fabric. I believe this is my July fabric order. Yep, yeah, so this is July. So I got the Hopeless Romantic and the Natural and the um, Meet the Browns. Okay, so Hopeless Romantic. This one is called Love Bug. Sorry. And this one has some blues and kind of grayishy purples in there. Ooh, that is really pretty. That's coming across really good. Oh, I just love the smell of their fabric. It's amazing. All 
All right, and then Meet the Browns. Um, this one is called Sweet Tooth. All right, this one has kind of a creamy, not not really pinky, but more of creamy, taupey, and grays in there. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better as I open it. Oh wow, that is neat. That's cool. That that is like a piece I can just hang just like this just frame it and hang it it is gorgeous all right let's see what do we got here it's from Amazon oh that's for the wedding that's some seashells That's fabric for the wedding. I have a feeling this is wedding stuff as well. Amazon. I don't even know how this box opens. Oh, right there. should have a scissors but I don't so let's do this yep that's all wedding stuff too please as I stretch stretch okay I got them all That's fabric for the wedding. Oh, I think these are some the charm. Ooh, that's gonna be. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of charms to make thread jewelry. I'll bring I'll show you guys that later. Um there well maybe hand. I might have found a there might be a spot to open it. Yep. All right. I was able to get into it. Maybe. Maybe. You know what? I know where there's a scissor. It's in here. like Christmas. Right. Oh my goodness. And then there's, I got a lot of charms in here. Oh wow. Okay. I got a bunch of coffee beans. I wanted to have these for camp and do something different, but because I didn't get the package before camp, I did the coffee and the tea, but look at these little snails. I was going to make thread jewelry and use for the snails, but oh well. Next year, there's some fun bees.
some cute little Starbucks coffee cups. More of those, more of those. Uh, oh yeah, I got these, I forgot I got these camping, these little wood post signs for camping. So I'm a little bummed that these didn't get there because next year it won't be the camping theme, but I don't know. Maybe I'll send out, you know, gifts to people I met afterwards. Coffee, um, coffee is always a good idea. These are, what did he say? Oh, these are some little Hogwarts things. Love, little hearts that say love. I definitely got the coffee cups. Cause you know, coffee, wine and stitching time, hello. That's, that was everything in that one. So, yeah, a little bummed on those camping ones, but I didn't get those beforehand, but I did have my backup. I, I came up with that backup plan last minute when I knew the things wouldn't be delivered, so that's when I did the little coffee, the Keurig cups, and then the tea, but that's all right. Okay, what else? Oh, I have this box, too. Oh, I think this, I know what this is. This is, uh, that's for the wedding, too. All right, that was everything, you guys. That was everything. Now, now I have a really big mess and I had a picture of everything of how it looked before I started. Here's a picture of how it looks now. Well, without me sitting in the middle because I have to get up and take the picture and put it in afterwards when I edit, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just, it'll happen. Um, but plans. So my plans, number one, are to clean up this disaster. Um, and I think I might go watch some floss tube on TV, on my big TV, put my feet up on my couch and relax. And I'm going to do some knitting. I haven't knit for over a week. Um, so I need to get some of that done. But the other projects that I brought along will, that will be my first focus for this next week. Um, so like I said, remember I brought 18 projects. Three of those were Harry Potter 1, 2, and 3. So I did count those as three. So um, these are the other ones that I brought with me that I'm going to have my focus on this next week. Um, I am doing the Haunted Library Sal. And I'm doing it on... Um, French's. It's a Fortnite fabric. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start, get that one started. Uh, in here, I've got um, Kathy Barrick. Um, the Christmas pin pillow. And this is where I'm at with that now. I have five deer. I have to look at the deer and make sure that they're good because I know I messed up on one of them at one point, but I'm not sure if I fixed it. So I need to look and see if those are good. Um, and that is one that I'm going to work on. Um, my serenity prayer. Um, I, I have all the leaves and flowers along the top to do, but the bottom half is done and all the words are done. So, and I'm going to try, when I do these, I'm going to try to take a shot of them first from my starting points. Um, I have another sal that I was doing, but I never started it. So I didn't sal it or I didn't finish it, but I did have it already. It was spooky spells, sneaky spooky spells, and all the clues are out now. So I've got that one I want to get started on. Um, my Gilmore Girls. I need to work on my Gilmore Girls from Summer and Stars Hollow. Yeah. 
I need to work on my Touch of Magic. And there's three clues out for Touch of Magic now. Um, those are just patterns. I can't show you those. but I only have clue one done. So I only have clue one. So I have to do the other clues to catch up. I have my Professor Hyberman's um, Superior Bees Clockwork Pollinations, this guy. And I am, where am I at? I did the outside border. I'm not sure which way is up, but I did the outside border and I did start coming in on that one there. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that moving. And then this one here, let's see. Oh, coffee or chocolate. This is my August cross stitch camp. I have never done an Erica Michaels and I have never done a berry. So I'm going to do this berry here. Um, I'm going to do it on sandbar from under the sea fabrics. And I'm switching that up. So it's a light color fabric with darker floss. Um, I'm going to do the darker fabric with, or a little bit darker fabric with those. So that's what I've got going for that. So that's my July, my August cross stitch camp. And it's something new to you. So Erica Michaels is new to me as well as a berry. Um, and then, so that I have to start and finish in August. Um, my Harry Potter waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. Um, I, this is where I'm at with that and I need to fill this in. I don't know if I'm going to fill it in or if I'm just going to leave it. I might just leave it. I'm still contemplating that. So I have to pull it out and look at the colors again. Um, I can't make a final decision on that. So I don't know. And then the last one I have is another sal. Um, oh, this one I just need to order things. Um, this is Fabrics by Stephanie, the, the silver mist for hands-on design. So I just need to order the sal that's starting, I believe it's starting September. So that's all that one is. So that's my plans. Knit and lots of cross stitch. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 more items in my bin there that need some attention and love in August. So I am going to have fun. Clean up, knit, relax, floss tube, stitch. I will see you all next week with all the progress that I hope to get done. I also have to look at my calendar and see what's going on. See if there's something happening this next weekend or the following weekend. I don't even know. Like, all I know is I have today off. I have tomorrow off too, but I don't know if I'm going to work. I might work. I don't know. We'll see. Um, other than that, I'm starting to ramble and everything. So I'm going to say goodbye and I hope you enjoyed seeing everything, all the chaos that I brought home with me. Um, it was a super, super fun retreat. And like I said, I don't have good pictures of the brag table. Lynn X stitches. She's got pictures of that. She's got pictures of the s'mores table that we had s'mores up by the campfire. Um, oh, we did have a group photo. I can get the group photo for you. There's the group photo. Um, yeah, so... I'm going to go and sit and edit and floss you and do all that stuff after I clean up. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you next week for sure next week. And remember, smiles, smile, smile, sparkle, shine. There you go. Bye now.